Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. I'm so glad you're joining me. We are going to do a little bit of die cutting and create a shaped Christmas card today. We're using a new die set that arrived at the Spellbinder shop. This was created by BB Cameron and she created the most wonderful collection. It's called BB's Snowflake Collection. This is just one of the items in it but there's lots more to it and I'll leave a, a link down below to where you can check it out. This is the Snowflake Card Creator. So it creates a, a six inch Snowflake card and I just love the look of the Snowflake. So I thought we would make a shaped card. Now I did measure it edge to edge and it is a six inch Snowflake. So you're gonna need maybe a six and a quarter inch or a six and a half inch envelope to mail it. Although the card I'm making today you probably won't be able to mail because it's gonna have such a, a beautiful center but um this is one of those cards where you don't want to smush an envelope <laughs> so let's jump in and get started now we're going to start by making our shaped card so i have a piece of white card stock and it, this is just an eight and a half by eleven sheet i'm going to bring in my scoreboard i'm going to score at the five and a half inch mark I flip it over Okay, so we are scored at the five and a half inch mark. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And then I'm gonna take the outline of the snowflake here. And then I'm gonna line it up on my panel. And I want a little bit of stability to it. So I'm gonna make sure that two of the edges of the snowflakes are overlapping on the fold right here. Okay, I'm gonna tape this down I mentioned a while ago that I was going to get a tape dispenser. Um, I had a scotch tape dispenser that was 100 years old. And when I saw this one, I just thought it was so cute. <laughs> this is a hedgehog. And it holds my best ever craft tape beautifully. This is from scotch also. But it's really heavy. And it works wonderful. Plus, if I have leftover tape, let me show you. If I have leftover tape, I could put it on the outside and it's easy to pick up. So super cute. I'll link that down below if you guys want to check it out. Okay, we're going to run this through the die cut machine and then I'm also, I could have scored it a little bit better, but when I put it through the die cut machine, it'll help score it. My color palette today is kind of a unique color palette. Um, and I, only because you can only do so many traditional colors and I always like to switch it up a little bit. So I thought we would go nice and regal. And so we're using some Spellbinders Color Essential cardstock. Um, we're going to take this outline die and die cut out the snowflake here. Okay. And then I'm also going to take this is a, a graphite cardstock. We're going to take the pine needle, the larger one. I'm going to die cut out four of my larger pine needles with my graphite cardstock. And then with Spellbinder's Portobello cardstock, I'll die cut out a couple of, maybe maybe four or five of the smaller pine needles. Um, with the poinsettia flower, I'm using mahogany. It's a very regal brown. We'll die cut this out. And then while we're die cutting out our snowflake, I'm going to take this flower. I'll die cut this out twice with white cardstock. For the flower center here, I'm going to use my graphite. And then, I think that's it. I'm going to layer two of my flowers together. So I'll actually die cut this out six times because I want three flowers in total. Okay, we have a little bit of die cutting to do. Oh, I'm also going to take some gray cardstock. This isn't Spellbinders. This is actually Hero Arts. Um, Hero Arts Pebble cardstock. I chose this because it was a little bit of a warmer. Um, I love Spellbinders Fog, but that was just a little bit too light. And so I thought this would be a perfect gray. So it's like a mid-tone gray. And I'll take the outline shadow here and I'll die cut this out with this panel. So I have a little bit of die cutting to do. We're gonna run everything through the die cut machine and I'll be right back. Everything is die cut. And again, this is a six inch snowflake. So it's six inches around. Really pretty snowflake. And here is where 
my card base opens. Let me open it up for you. Okay, so we ch chopped off half of these, but when we put this on here, in fact, let's do that. When we put this on here, I'll use my tape runner. So now we have a full snowflake. And when you open it up, it looks like this. Okay, this, I do want to mention, this is very delicate. Very delicate. And so you want to be really careful punching out this from your, your die. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue this. I'm going to glue it down to the front of my snowflake. Like so. And I'm just going to flip it around and add some glue behind here. And isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. I love this. Okay, now to, we're going to put this off to the side. And next we're going to create our poinsettias. I already created two here. What we do is just add a dot of glue to the center. And then I offset the flower. And then I'm going to bring in some Spellbinders Fashion Oyster Pearls. And I'm just going to add three of the smallest ones to the center of the flower. I'll let that glue adhere and then I'm going to fluff up the, pet, uh, the flower petals for a little bit of dimension. This is why I say it's probably not envelope friendly. <laughs> Look how pretty. So those are our poinsettias. To create the smaller flowers, I'll go ahead and create two. Remember we die cut out the center with that graphite cardstock. I'm just going to add a dot of glue to the center of these white flowers. We'll add our flower center. When you die cut, you want the die will die cut out three at a time, which makes it really nice. And so also with the flower centers, it'll die cut out three at a time. Um, for the flower centers on here, I'm going to bring in some color essential gems. This is the silver mix, and I'm actually going to use silver for these flower centers. That's all there is to those. So we'll go ahead and put these back. So we have six of these in total. I don't know if we'll use them all, but they sure are pretty. And then these are our pine needles. I'm not going to add any sentiment to my card today because there's going to be a lot of dimension here. Um, and I'm going to add to the dimension by adding some, um, almost like I'm going to give my pine needles a little bit of an icicle look. Just going to make sure they're all. And we're going to add, actually to both sets, we're going to add um, some diamond dust to these. So I'm going to bring some scratch paper in. I love the icy look of pine needles on cards. So to do that, I'm going to use my glazing glue. And then I'm going to go over just one side of the pine needles on the very edges and then a little bit over the middle of the tip. So we're covering it with the glazing glue. And then I guess I should use my tweezers. Okay, and then I'm going to use my diamond dust. This is like clear glitter. And it's a little heavier, actually, than clear glitter. I just picked this up. But I don't know if you can tell. The, the, you can see that sparkle. It just looks like little icicles. And I think that adds so much to my card. It does take not too long to dry. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to all of my pine needles. And I'm just going to finish off with my last one. And this is going to take a little bit of time to dry. Not too long. I would say maybe 20 minutes to dry. So I'm going to clean off my work surface. And I will funnel this back in. And I will be back when my pine needles are all dry. My pine needles have dried. So we are good to go. We have lots of icicled um, pine needles 
and it did add a little bit of weight to them so when you glue them down you want to make sure that they're glued down um, I did also die cut out using the holly leaves I die cut out some holly leaves with some gray cardstock this is Spellbinder's Silver Fox cardstock um, let's go ahead and start our assembly I'm going to go ahead and add some glue behind our pine needles and again I'm going to add a lot of glue usually I just go halfway up the spine but since we did add that diamond dust it did weigh them down so I want to make sure that these don't um, aren't going anywhere I want to go put two on the left and two on the right now I'm going to go ahead and add my poinsettias because this way I can tuck I put a small foam square Underneath each, underneath each of them, and I'm going to fluff up the petals, and we'll just put three in a little cluster right in the center of our snowflake here. <laughs> so I have my portobello pine needles adhered, and then before we go any further, also I'm going to bring in some ribbon. Spilebinders has some fabulous new ribbon in their shop. The company is called Vivant, and it's a very nice quality ribbon. I know there's some eighth inch ribbons out there that you can pick up like at Walmart for 99 cents. Um, this is you could tell the quality in this, um, but I'm going to be using this. I believe this is taupe, taupe or champagne. I'm not sure which one it is, but I know it goes perfect with portobello. So I gonna tie a bow with it and then using a glue dot I'm gonna go ahead and add that on the bottom corner of my snowflake here if you could easily turn this into an ornament by putting um, instead of making the fold at the two point mark, maybe making it at the top and then putting a hole in it. You could easily make this a gift tag or an ornament, but I'm going to go for a card project today. I'm going to trim away some of the excess of my ribbon here. And then I know where to put the rest of my elements. I have my I'm going to add some foam adhesive behind each one of my holly leaves and we're going to add some holly. Boy, the sky is the limit when arranging on a snowflake this large. I just love this. And that finishes my card today. I have a little bit of mess to clean up. And that finishes my card today using the Snowflake Card Creator from BB's Snowflake Collection. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me. We will see you soon. Bye-bye.